Hey everyone, Alex here. So, I don't know if you have seen, but I did a blog post about exposing data with what is the difference between map and filter versus using reduce. I really, really loved this one. So I thought I would make a video for you to see it in action and not just like read through the whole post. So let's do this. Um, Pretty much this is like the example criteria. So I have an array of objects. I have two objects, just in this case, for an example. Uh, so we have ID criteria, year of birth, and pretty much what's going to happen is that we need this output. So depending on the criteria, so for example here, if the criteria is less than three, then this will continue to the output. So in this case, we have criteria zero and criteria five. So only this one should pass to the output. Now, the other thing is that we are also adding fields. So in this example, we are adding the is valid field because we need it for the filter that we are doing here after the map. And we are also adding two, one additional field, whatever. And for example, the field years, that is counting how many years uh, this person has. So yes, I hear you. A lot of people uh, told me like, why are you doing the filter after the map? You should do the filter before the map. And yes, I hear you. Um, so this is one way, this is the original way that the script was doing. Then this is the second way, we have the filter first. And at any point you can pause this if you need to take a look at the code. You can also see the code in the article, so you will be able to see the article in the description of the video. Anyway, so this is the second way, uh, you do the filter first and then you do the map. So in this first scenario, we were doing the map first. So a whole iteration, let's say like two, two objects, and then we were doing the filter. So there's another uh, um, iteration to the whole thing. So four, we did like a total of four processing of the objects. And then here in the filter, we do the filter first. So we are doing the whole iteration first, and then we're discarding one object and keeping one object. So we, we, we did two, and then in the map, since we only have one object now, we are doing three total iterations, or like three, three objects instead of um, four. So this is one object less if you do the filter before the map. But then I thought like, okay, is there a way that we can do just one iteration instead of um, more than one? And I came up with this reduce for example, in this case, we come here, we do the reduce. We are immediately checking what is the criteria. If the criteria is met, then we are adding the object to the accumulator with the new fields. And if this is like the criteria is not met, then we are just continuing with the same accumulator that we had before. So in theory, reduce is only doing one iteration in total. So just two objects, right? We had four here three here and one here. So in theory, like the reduce option should be the most performant one because we are only going through the whole thing once. You would think that. But I did this whole script that you can also find in the article. So pretty much it's creating the items from uh, this variable because I'm, I'm creating uh, 10,000, yeah, 10,000 items which have the ID, the criteria, and the year of birth, which are random um, integers. And then we have the three different functions. We have the map and filter, only reduce or filter and map. And as we saw from the previous uh, scripts, here we have the map and then we have the filter. And then in the only reduce, we have the same thing. Um, now the criteria is going to be 50 instead of uh, five or three because now we have more objects. And finally, we have the filter and map where we are doing the filter before the map. So we have the three different options. And then I created here some scripts to run this. It's timing each of the approaches and then it's um, ordering them by the fastest one first and uh, the one that took longer is gonna be at the end. So. As you can see from here, filter and map took like five, 
I don't know how much that is. <laughs> now we have map and filter, and we have only reduce. So only reduce took way longer than the other two. Filter and map and map and filter are close, but filter and map ends up being way less time. So I can run this more times if I just do a small change to the script. As you can see, this changed and I can keep doing like just adding spaces or something and the times keep changing. So you will have different times every time. But as you can see, like the order stays the same. Filter and map, map and filter are always pretty much very close to each other. But reduce is way, way longer. It takes way longer to run reduce. That was a shock for me. Um, and then the other thing, like just in case you are not sure if this is actually running and working for all of the functions, it is. Um, if I come here, I have the same script as I did before, but now it's outputting here the total time and the start and the end. So for example, for this one, I am timing just the filter and map and I am actually outputting the results. So if I scroll down, like you can see, these are like almost 40,000 lines of output. We have here the timestamp at the end and we are counting the total time by doing the same thing that we did in the other script, which is um, the end minus the start. So we get the actual number. And as we can see from here, like this number is super similar to this other number. So it is running. And again, I can just keep making changes here to the script so I can rerun this and this keeps changing. The number will keep changing, but it stays pretty much the same. So if I were to do, for example, instead of filter and map, I can take the only reduce and put it here and this change uh, the time will change again as the other one that we saw. That number is pretty similar to this number, right? And we can still see that we have almost 40,000 lines of output. So this is actually running everything. And again, I can run it several times just by modifying something in the script, like adding a space or something like that. And this number keeps changing, but it never gets to how the other number was like. We can do the same for map and filter, and it will be very similar to filter and map, but again, just a tiny bit slower than the other one, but not as slow as the reduce. And that's all, this is a short video. I just wanted you to see this in action in case you don't want to like run everything on your own. That's fine, I gotcha. You have the article where you can see all of the scripts, um, you have this example where you saw like how the different functions are working. Then we saw this one, which is actually comparing the three functions in the same time. And then we also have this that is showing the actual results that are thousands and thousands because we are still running 10,000 here. If you want to try with more items, you can of course change this. Or if you want to try with less items, let's say five. You can also change that and see the differences in the output. So there's that. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please remember to follow me, to subscribe to the channel and everything, because I will continue creating great content for you. If you have any suggestion, any question, any comment that you have for me, make sure to comment. You can comment here in the video or you can comment in prasdev.com slash articles. No, sorry, <laughs> prasdev.com slash blog. And I will make sure to follow up there. You can also contact me. Whatever you like, just let me know what you think. And I will make sure to make adjustments for you. <laughs> all right, that's all then. Bye.